Okay, so Kamala Harris is picked as Joe Biden's running mate. I figured this is definitely worth doing a video about. Um, so I have a little bit of a unique view on this, I suppose. I, I don't think any of the final contenders were going to be satisfactory for me in terms of the VP spot. Um, you know, it, nothing's going to redeem Joe Biden, right, outside of, like, what, Nina Turner or Bernie Sanders, which was never going to happen in a million years anyway. Um, so, you know, if we're picking between Susan Rice and, and, you know, Kamala Harris, it's like, okay, who the fuck cares, right? But the one take that I have, the one positive I see in this, at least as compared to Susan Rice, is that at least we're getting Kamala Harris out of the Senate, right? And Gavin Newsom can't possibly appoint someone worse than Harris to that Senate position, right? I mean, Harris is like law and order prosecutor, you know, like smug, you know, centrist, pro-corporate, pro-private prison. I mean, like, there's nothing about Kamala Harris that a leftist should like, you know. Um, so I view this as somewhat of a positive in the sense that we desperately, as, as leftists, we desperately need to win our primary in 2024 for president anyway, regardless of who the leftist is. So whether it's Biden or Harris, you know, and whether that was going to be, you know, Harris or Rice or Bass or Warren or whatever, I mean, it's like the left needs to win that primary regardless. So the one silver lining I see in this is at least we're getting Kamala Harris out of the Senate. Um, you know, it's it's yet another spit in our face moment for the progressive faction. And, you know, if the Democrats are going to keep doing that. That's counter scheduling. They've been doing that forever. They're going to keep doing that. I promise you. Uh, Joe Biden's going to do nothing but spit in your face. Those of you who think that you, you know, you can pull Biden to the left. It's you got another thing coming. Um, you know, he'll he'll certainly be left of Trump. I mean, don't get, don't get me wrong here, but like he's he's his his platform in many ways is refusing to even go as far left as Hillary Clinton's did four years ago. It's it's it, during a pandemic and an economic crash. I mean, it's so beyond the pale um, that this man is our fucking nominee for president, um, and it's really fitting that he picks in the in a moment where where civil rights and and protests are are, are breaking out because of police brutality and misconduct because the legal system is so biased and so so racially biased in it in the way that it applies you know force and 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 its oppression i mean it's you're gonna pick a top cop you're gonna pick a top fucking cop to be your v like it's spit right in our face once again you know but but again the silver lining is it, it otherwise would have been susan rice who's no fucking better and and whose foreign policy record is quite egregious um so you know it's it's uh biden harris who's uh who's not excited <laughs>